Hello everybody, my name is Masculine Jedi, and today I'm going to be reviewing Igor by Tyler the Creator. Now, before I get to the review now, let me just say this straight up. This album is fire, bruh. Yes, it is super fire. I mean, it isn't trap, it isn't hip-hop. Uh, I mean, it is, but it's not really trap. You don't hear that trap feeling. It's kind of hard to tell if it's hip-hop or not. I mean, it's more vaporwave, chillish, you know. I mean, if you like that type of style, then there's... You're definitely gonna like this album. Tyler really like changed up his uh, flow and his vibe in this album. I mean, it's definitely a huge step up, but it's also like he drifted apart his old sound, like Flower Boy. You know, which Flower Boy is like straight up rapping and all. Let me get this straight. The bad, it's like like rapping all that stuff. I mean, it was pretty decent. Flower Boy. I'm not gonna lie. I really like Flower Boy. I probably my favorite track is Who That Boy. You know, from what I remember, because that album was like two years ago. I remember it was in 2017. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I mean, I wasn't like extremely hyped for this album. But like, I was like, sure, why not? Um, just take a listen to it. Because like, I got nothing to do. And it's probably the only album that I'm really interested in. Because DJ Khaled is a new album, Father Her Shot. I mean, I'm not a huge DJ Khaled fan. I like some of his tracks. They're okay. I'm just going to let that album slide. But anyway... I think I did listen to that album, and I have some really huge mix impression of that album, which I might make a video about it. But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, yesterday I was saying, it's a, it's a full music day. There's a track with Chance the Rapper and all, called Groceries, and yes, I know, I uh, definitely moved the vibe of the review and talking about Yesterday Friday. But, um, yeah, anyway, let's get, let's get straight into the review. I'm sorry for taking your time, I just want to talk about... Yesterday and Friday, that was filled with music. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Skirt. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, this is definitely not like a Flower Boy type or any other project that I've heard from Tyler Creator. It's definitely different, unique. And, you're, and if you listen to like the first two songs or first three songs of this um album, you're gonna be like, that's Tyler. You know, because it's so different. It's he changed his sound up so differently. It's like so unique now. It's vapor. If I was saying, it's like really chill. It's not trap, it's not hip-hop, it isn't like that fast type of thing, it's like really chill. It gives you that, that nostalgic disco feeling for some reason. Sorry for that truck. Can you... Finally can talk. Um, yeah, anyways, I was saying, uh, it's definitely different from Flower Boy. Um, if you're expecting that, well... Sorry to say this, but uh, Igor is definitely not. For, I mean, Igor is not for you if you're expecting like a Flower Boy type. But still, it isn't a bad album. It's a decent album. Even though I'm a fan of Flower Boy, I definitely like that album and all that stuff. Even though he changed his uh, flow, his sound, you know, he changed it completely um, in more chill uh, vaporwave type and a more like singing without auto tune. Surprisingly, I mean, I give props to Tyler because most of the people. Including me, if I were to sick, I'd probably sing with auto tune, most likely. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, this album's definitely decent. The instrumentals are like wow, they are so good. Um, they, as I was saying, they give you like the nostalgic vaporwave type feeling. It's hard to not say vaporwave, nor nostalgic, nor chillish, nor eighties, nor disco. That's like probably the best word to define this album. Definitely a chill, vaporwave type of uh music. If you like that, then you're gonna love this album because I definitely like the type of sound, the type of style, even though it caught me off guard. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a decent album. The instrumentals, I was saying, were bangers. Um, features. Obviously, Playboy Card is in this, uh, song, uh, in this album because they're the second song called Earthquake. Yes, I know. Tyler um, mispronunciated uh, Earthquake. I know he misspelled it. But um, it doesn't mean that he's stupid or anything. I'm pretty sure they did it on purpose just to like, change the different vibe and all. But and yeah, it's definitely a good track. That, I really like that track. And for like a second track, I mean, for an opening track, because I know the first track is Igor Steam, but it's mostly an instrumental. There's no really vocal. I mean, there is vocals, but it's not like a song, you know what I'm trying to say? But uh, yeah, definitely Earthquake is like, I would name it like the first song. I was definitely a banger. I definitely liked that. It was a Playboy Cardi. As a feature, which is surprising, because, like, I mean, I don't like Playboy Kari that much, but in this song, I give him a pass. I mean, when I heard Dial It, the Playboy Kari album that came in last year, I was like, 
why? Why are you doing this to me, God? Just why? I did not like that album that much. Maybe if I re-listened to it three times, even though I didn't listen to the whole album, because like 55 minutes, I can't handle 55 minutes of Flavor Cardi. No, no, no. I like Magnolia, <laughs> Flavor Cardi, but um, yeah, I definitely like just Flavor Cardi, man. I just can't re-listen to an album of Flavor Cardi. I need to like just strangle myself to listen to an album of Flavor Cardi. No offense, but still, Magnolia was definitely a banger. I messed with that track. Hopefully, Playboy Cardi gets better in his flows and all. I mean, so I was saying, uh, his verse, if I were to rate this for his verse in Earthquake, is definitely way better than <laughs> Dialet, like, by a lot. It's like, like 1,000. I definitely like this verse in here. Like, I really dig it. It's, it's just catchy and all. It's, I like the flow. But, um, yeah, so I was saying, feature wise, it's pretty good. I mean, I remember, I know Kanye's in there, Pharrell Williams in the end of the track. There's some features you're not gonna get to hear that much because like I'm gonna say wait is that that guy? Nah, it can't be him. But like yeah, it's definitely hard to tell who's in this album except Playboy Cardi who's like really, really easy to tell because he's like in the beginning, you know, he's like in the first song basically, like just from the beginning and from the end. But um yeah, I definitely uh like the feature shirt. Kanye was like sharp, like that guy. <laughs> in that album i mean definitely i'm not a kanye fan but i definitely let kanye slide in his album but um yeah features feature what i was saying it was good i really liked it the instruments were like nitty though solid but um yeah i'm gonna get right straight to the verdict because i want to keep this as short as possible so i don't bore you out and i know i've been repeating myself so many times because i was saying it is hard to not repeat myself over and over and over because it's like the best word to describe this album plus it's not like a short album it's like a 40 minute 36 minute album you know so yeah it's kind of short i mean i know it's like an average album but still for me it was pretty short uh but anyway um yeah i'm going to uh give my verdict in this album now what do i give i go easily a nine out of ten yes i give it a nine out of ten it's definitely fire got like yeah uh this is definitely one of the best albums of the year yeah it's, it's just solid bro it's just Nitsido Fuego Fire. If you like, you know, like chillish vaporwave and a slide type beat, you'll definitely like um, this album. So, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button down below. Tell me what you think about I Go to a Tired Creator down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, peace out.